Oh my goodness, are you kidding? Yo, lift much? Red Steakhouse. They make this ultimate surf and turf. Tomahawk cut ribeye. A pound of Maine lobster tail. A 10 pound Alaskan king crab. Huge. We're gonna go check out Ella's Oyster Bar. It's in Little Havana. What we're gonna try out today is the surf and turf burrito. What? It has Maryland crab and it has chorizo. Today, we're in beautiful, sunny Miami. Oh my gosh, near the water. I figured we'd do a little surf and turf today. Nico, what's, what's up, up, buddy? How you doing, bro? Good, good. How's the block going? Oh, growing, man. Thank you. everyone hungry. What's up, man? Surf and turf? I surf heard. and turf, baby. Oh, you think you're ready? I yeah. hope you're ready. OK, well, let's go check this out. Right, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Thank oh, that's you. my boy right there. Chef OT, what's up, baby? How you doing? Man, Nico, How are you? Pleasure to meet you. I brought my man Nico here for the world famous ultimate surf and turf. Ultimate? Yes. Why, why is it ultimate? One pound main lobster tail stuffed with king crab, stuffed a certified Angus beef prime tomahawk with more king crab. That's a lot of king crab. <laughs> it's the only way to have it. Yes. Yeah, it is. Have a seat, relax, and we'll be back after we put this together. Sounds good. All right. Let's do that. All right. See you in a bit. All right. Let's go, Chef. What are we doing here today? Show me what we got going on. Let me show you what a real king crab looks like real okay, quick. Okay, I don't real think I've ever seen a whole king crab before. Are you kidding me? That's a 10 pound red Alaskan king crab. Yo, I think if I saw one of these in a while, I'd be absolutely terrified. Right. Put this back where it belongs. So you're gonna make us some crab cakes now? Uh, no, you're gonna make us some crab cakes. This is the- The filet? The filet section of That's crab. Right. We're going to cut the shell off of here. There's a membrane that runs through here. I feel it. And pull it out. Bam! Gonna be, we're gonna chop that up a little bit. And these aren't those Chinese restaurant crab legs either that you see. And we're gonna add all our ingredients together. That's a little right. bit of house-made mayonnaise, some of our roasted chilies, a little bit of bread crumb, just, let, just to bind it together, oh, and no. just some freshly chopped herbs. Very, very simple here. Perfect, um, perfect. I want the crab to kind of show its flavor. That's our crab cake, and that's gonna make our fill for our lobster tail and for that top. Oh lobster. my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, 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 buddy. What is this monstrosity? So here we have a one pound or a 16 ounce Maine lobster tail. Oh my goodness. We only dude. use a Maine lobster tail. A Maine lobster tail does not mean it's from Maine. Mm -hmm. That, that pertains to the breed of the lobster. Yes, okay. all that beautiful lobster meat oh. coming out here. Okay. I want you to make that lobster tail and that crab meat one. Did you think of stuffing the lobster with anything else? No, we pride ourselves on the best ingredients from around the world and it was like, that's a marriage made in heaven. Absolutely. Let's take a little bit of this clarified butter here and we're ready oh, to pop that in the oven. Oh my goodness. Check on that in about 10 to 12 minutes. Yo! What the? This is our certified Angus beef prime tomahawk ribeye. And I got a guy that cuts these for me special. Put the bone all the way down here. A little more flavor when you roast it, but also visually it presents so well. Yeah, it really does look like a weapon. We're gonna do a little kosher salt and fresher ground black pepper. It's all we're gonna use. Okay. But we're gonna cook it to about medium rare. Well, Get that nice sizzle on oh, there. Oh yes. If you put a steak in a pan or in a grill and you don't hear that, take it off and let it get hot. We're gonna take the king crab filter, put that on top. We're gonna take a little, little bit of clarified butter. So nobody ever says that's too much butter. Not here, they don't. That's right. And we're gonna put that back in the broiler just to get some great color on that and to heat our crab fill all the way through. Put a little bit of our signature steak oil. Now what is, what is that? I can tell you, but I have to kill you. I don't wanna die. This is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Oh my God, what is that? <laughs> you are not ready, my man. This is Red's ultimate surf and turf. Why does it have that tomahawk name? Usually they have these bone and cuts, they're called cowboy cuts. He had this guy to cut more of the bone just for presentation. It's nothing like it, you know what I'm saying? It really looks like a tomahawk. So um, I think that we should just go ahead and- uh, Wait, up. wait, whoa, dude. We need to take photos of this. Because yeah. Followers, they need to see this. Do it for the gram, son. So can Absolutely. we finally eat now, bro? So excited for this. I can already tell by the way the knife is going through that it's a wait, tender wait. piece of lobster. <laughs> this is amazing. The, the lobster mm -hmm. is the perfect texture. It pairs so well with the crunchiness also of the stuffing. It is king crab crab cake, it's not just. This is the official tissue. I love how well presented it is on the meat of the tail with the crab meat on top. Mm. How good does that look? the creaminess of the crab cake with the rough texture of the steak and it's just smooth and buttery, it's perfect. Man. Oh man, 
This is a really high grade piece of meat. The flavor is just indescribable. Gives you that burst of textures and flavors. When you get served for tariff, it's usually like a piece of meat and some kind of piece of seafood. They mix the elements are together. A fantastic piece of steak already and just shoots into the stratosphere. Absolutely. Awesome. So on that note, we're gonna ball out. And we'll be on our way to Nico's joint. So Happy you picked that place. Oh, absolutely, wow. it's amazing. I wanted to surf and surf and I wanted to ball out and I thought that was a great place to do. All right, man, so we're gonna go check out Ella's Oyster Bar. We're gonna have a surf and turf freedom. That's a thing? Yeah. Wait till you try this one. Let's, let's, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Hey, hey, Chef, how's it going? Hey, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you, Good man. Good to see you. Good friend, Jerobi. How you doing, man? So we're going to do the Frida. Being here in, in Little Havana, very, very popular burger is, a, is called a Frita. So Frita being huge, we did a play on a surf and turf. It's, it's similar to it. It's a crab sandwich, but it's that surf and turf Frita that no one else has. It sounds fantastic. Yeah. I can't wait yeah, to yeah, taste yeah. it. We're going to sit down here while you guys do all the hard work awesome. and enjoy right. the spoils. Let's see That's how good. it goes. Right on. All right. All right, so tell me a little bit about, about what we're going to be doing. Well, we're going to be making a um, serve and serve pizza cubana. So Perfect. basically oh. have the, the lump crab meat here out of Maryland. Okay. It has great flavor. Get a uh, Mexican-style chorizo, we render it down, we give this that, crab meat we'll all the flavor. Oil. We uh, have cilantro. We make a house-made chula hot sauce. That's going to be that kick, some uh, lemon juice, which is going to cut a little bit of that fat from the chorizo. Some Worcestershire, a little bit of chipotle mayo that we make in-house. We have Japanese panko breadcrumbs. We don't use really any filler, and you just taste a lot of the crab meat and the chorizo to get all that flavor. When you're using crab meat, you always want to fold. And a lot of people overwork it and kind of makes it tough. So it's important to keep just the little lumps exactly. of crab together. So we usually make these about four ounces, and then we let it cool down in the walk-in so it tightens up. This is what we made earlier, so you just take a little bit of the butter, grease up the flat top a little bit. So basically, it's a similar process to, you know, cooking a burger is cooking it freedom. Our house made Cuban bread sandwich. All so you're right, just going to butter that, get that toasted, and we're going to toast it on both sides All as right. well. Put with a little bit of chipotle aioli. That can okay. give it a little spice. Traditionally, a frita is made with American cheese, but after testing and a mayo cheddar work, it worked great with it. You just want to take that and put it on the salad menu. Let's go. You want that cheese kind of bubbly. Yeah, I can already see that cheese yeah, yeah, melting. Yeah, that's ready. Want right, to pull that ready down? To go? That right there is pure perfection. There we go. Ah. Put a nice slice of tomato on it. This is what really makes the frita, these, these potato sticks. So these are our house-made potato sticks. Okay. It's gonna give the sandwich a crunch. Look at that. These are our house-made fries. We cook these fries three times. We cut them by hand. We don't even use the machine. And then the mojo ketchup. And that is your surf and turf frita. Chef, thank you so much. It's been an absolute Man, pleasure. So what cooking. can I tell you, dude? I've been, I've been cooking. Take care. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. All right, all right, so we Ooh, have... Ooh, look at here. It's well seasoned too. This is actually a Maryland crab cake, Frida. So basically, one of the key things in this Maryland crab cake is that it has this chorizo. And then of course the fries, they're hand cut. The fries are so soft and creamy oh on the God. inside. I've yeah. noticed one thing about this table. We'll There's only you know. one sandwich, bro. It's one sandwich? Yeah, we'll split that's it. Funny. I hear that nice crunch on the bread already. It's actually, it's Cuban bread. Some of the best bread on the planet. Something you'll notice, we have a hint of aioli. We used soft mild cheddar. Seafood and cheese together. I'm weird about that. Was that our taste was good? I like that. Chorizo does something magic. Flavor has like a little twist to it. Just really hit me immediately. The smoky chorizo and the sweet crab meat. Mm -hmm. That together, that's that's hitting. Texture of the bread that's kind of airy. You know, it's not really a dense bread at all. Uh, the crispiness of the outside softness so on the inside is a really, really dope vehicle for a sandwich. After what we ate earlier today, I'm thinking I had my taste bud filled uh, for the day, but nah, this is good. Look, it may not be a delicious steak and succulent lobster, but flavorful packed sandwich. I was pleasantly surprised, dude. This is so dope. I'm about to order like 20 of these to go. Man, I enjoyed the hell out of that sandwich. Really good. I was so surprised about how good that tastes. The oil from the chorizo mixing in with the crab meat was brilliant. Yeah. And the airiness of that bread, of that Cuban bread. That was a really great sandwich. But I'm going to tell you, though, that experience with the steak and the lobster, the extra sauce and the butter was fantastic. Perfect bites, one after the other. So if you had to pick a winner, who do you think won today? Would honestly go for Ella's oyster bar. Yes, because I was not expecting so much out of something so simple. That sandwich was banging, but for me, I'm gonna go with the steak with the big boy. Since it's my show, buddy, guess what, Nico? I win. Oh my god. All I right. win.
Once again, I want to thank my buddy Nico. Oh, it's been an absolute pleasure. This is Jerobi White, and if you like what you saw, like and subscribe, baby. Until next time, peace. Peace. Let's go get some ice cream. Yeah, man. I heard about this $1,000 Sunday. <laughs>